Hey everybody, uh, this is Jeff Marshall here. Um, I just wanted to run through some of the sounds of this uh, new Bogner Ecstasy pedal. It's a red one. There's different models. There's a blue one and then there's an Ubershawl. Uh, this one here is a red one and uh, you're looking right at it live on my pedal board. You can see it's actually strapped down so it won't go anywhere. It's a great pedal, really rocking. Uh, some kick-ass overdrive and very, you know, uh, Ecstasy-esque, if you will. Um, just real quick, from left to right, uh, the knobs are um, on the left here is volume, see my little finger, uh, then we got treble, mids, bass, and then the gain, alright, and then there's a button right here, this is called the Variac button, the next button is the mode, and there's three presets here, tight is all the way to the left, Mel mellow is in the middle, and full all the way to the right, and then the next one is a pre-EQ, all the way to the left is B1, and all the way to the right is B2, and in the middle is neutral. I don't know what the B1 and B2 uh, actually stand for. Uh, I can tell the difference in the tone, though, when, when I fool around with them. So, uh, and then the next button is the structure button, and that's where the different models occur, the 101, the 100, and the 20th anniversary uh, ecstasy models. Um, and then we have, obviously, the off and on switch, which you see... Uh, the little light comes on, and then the switch on the left is a boost switch, so when you hit that, now you notice when I hit that, these two lights here came on. This light here is a separate volume control for your boost, and this light is a separate gain control for your boost. Uh, so you can really make your solos pop and get a little extra uh, juice on your solos for um, sustained notes and volume and all that good stuff, so it's really cool. You can also go straight from your... Uh, with the pedal off, uh, you can leave the boost on and then go straight to your boosted sound if you're playing maybe like a clean thing into a uh, into a um, solo or something like that. You want to jump right into it. That's really cool, too. All right, so <clears throat> I'm running this actually through a Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary. It's EL34 tubes. Um, I'm running it through the clean channel pretty much with the EQ straight up. And I do have the bright switch on, though. I do like the bright switch on because this gives me a little bit more sparkle. Uh, I'm playing a, a Gibson Les Paul Classic from the early 2000s. If you've seen any of my other videos, it's, I'm going to use that same guitar just to, so it's, it's a good uh, benchmark. Although I do play a lot of uh, Fenders and, and single coil type stuff, too. Uh, that's going into a, a 112 cabinet, which is in uh, a VHT cabinet, which is in my... Um, uh, closet actually and that's mic'd up with the SM57 so nothing too spectacular nothing you couldn't do in your own comfort of your own home for sure I'm coming back I'm using Logic Pro 9 into an Apogee Duet so all this stuff is uh, uh, just home recording basics really alright so uh, let's give it a tone test I want to first give you the sound that I have clean So pretty basic clean sound, good clean sound. Uh, uh. All right, that's uh, on the on the uh, neck pickup, uh, and I am using a little reverb. The reverb is actually from the amp, so um, there's no reverb in Logic. So the reverb that you're hearing is strictly from the Bogner Shiva. Okay, let's click the pedal on and see what we got. Basically, we're going to just start with. Uh, the modes uh, in the tight sound, uh, which is all the way to the left. This button here is all the way to the left. And I'm going to put this over and start on the 101. And we're going to kick it in. And the gain is right at, uh, you know, 12 o'clock, right up the middle. Alright, now I'm going to switch it over to the 100 uh, model, which is just as easy as just switching that over one, and maybe you'll be able to hear a little difference. Alright, now the 20th anniversary, a little bit different. All 
All right, let's go back to the 101, and now I'm just going to run through a couple of the modes. I did all those demos where they were on the tight mode, but now I'm going to do the mellow mode. All right, so this is actually a little spongier. <laughs> Uh, definitely feels a little different when I'm playing. All right, now uh, I'll run this over to the full mode. Uh, this is kind of the one I s seem to gravitate towards because it has a bigger harmonic um, overtones and bigger structure to it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's hear the full on the 100. Let me play a little different riff so you can get some different ideas of what it sounds like. Let's hear that 100 in tight mode. Let's go back, let's go over to the 20th anniversary. Let's hear that in tight mode. All right, so uh, I again I tend to tend to gravitate towards the um, 20th anniversary either in full mode or in tight mode. Uh, suits my playing a little bit better. Just real quick, I'm going to leave it there, and I'm just going to introduce the uh, the pre EQ switch here. This is all the way to the left, which is the B1. <laughs> All right, let's hear that in neutral mode again. All right, and then now all the way to the right and the other. That's pretty cool. Let's hear it with the boost on. Pretty dramatic there. I have the I have the volume set up pretty. Pretty heavy duty. I, you can go really big time with the boost. It's really cool. Now I'm gonna dime it a little bit. I'm gonna uh, bring the, the gain up a bit so you can hear what's available to you. That's pretty cool. Let's hear that on the tight. This is kind of where I tend to live right here. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Les Paul. It's 
So that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna throw in the Variac switch here and you'll hear it's gonna be a big drop in the volume. All right, let's bring it back. All right, so that's just some of the basic um, uh, run through of the Bogner Ecstasy pedal. I really dig it. Um, it's good to, for you know rocking tunes. You obviously have gobs of gain on command. I really don't even have my amp turned up that loud because I'm in an apartment right now. I'm not doing any real recording. It's pretty pretty close to where I'm at when I'm recording. Now the beautiful thing is, is I have the Shiva, so that's the amp, and now I have the Ecstasy. So if I turn that off, then I go to the dirty channel of my Shiva. Kind of got the best of both worlds, so.